Alright guys, thank you for checking in StromTopia.com and StromTopia.com sees for page we have a daily weather update right now. Of course, looking towards what appears to be, as of right now, a substantial snowstorm, but also the potential for a se severe icing event across portions of the Ohio Valley into the interior and northeast. But I just want to take a look right now at uh, the storm and why I'm actually more worried about icing than I am for snowfall accumulation. But let's take a look at the ensemble means. I'll take you out to 9 p.m. this evening across North America at the 500 millibar pattern and you see we've got decent block blocking over the North Atlantic. We've got a warm zone, we got a cold zonal flow across the northern United States, warm and moist to the south, low pressure system that made its way out of the um, um, Pacific Northwest, which is what it's doing as of 8 in the morning Eastern Time, will by 9 Eastern Time be probably somewhat over uh, the Fort Corners region and begin to develop into a substantial storm. And that's certainly happening. Here we are by 9 p.m. tomorrow, 9 p.m. Uh, Monday. And what you're seeing here is a snowstorm uh, rapidly developing with a low pressure center over northern Texas. You've got snow at this point falling heavily at times through the southeast Rockies, the southern plains. You, meanwhile, I've got a conveyor belt of light to moderate snow from the southern plains through the Ohio Valley, but that's really having t a tough time accumulating because at this point, it's just mostly uh, falling lightly. But that is not the case. By 9 p.m. Tuesday, you look at that, and you're like, whoa, that Arctic high is really taking shape over the... Um, Southeast Montana, you got a low pressure center that's fed off of Gulf of Mexico moisture that's just surging northward. Meanwhile, that Arctic high is holding its ground, so you've got a freezing rain event going on for the Ohio Valley, but meanwhile, you got a possible blizzard going on in the um, northern um, Ohio Valley. And at this point, I want to switch you over to a more detailed uh, model here. This is the Zero Z GFS, and what I just showed you was the uh, ensemble mean. So let's just take a look with the GFS wants to do here. Here you go. Here we are by a, a um, this would be around the afternoon hours of uh, Tuesday. Okay, and you're raining heavily with a very strong tap here out of the Gulf. Meanwhile, by the evening hours, heavy snow begins to spread back up into the Ohio Valley. The low center moves off to the northeast, and heavy snow commences through the evening hours of Tuesday into the morning hours of Wednesday. Very heavy snow band of snow in here. Meanwhile, icing in here. Okay, and then that low pressure center moves off to the northeast. Here we are by eight uh, by. Um, the afternoon hours of Wednesday, snowing heavily through central and northern New England through the capital district of New York. Meanwhile, oh, uh, what we don't want, ice, southern New England, rain for the south coast, and rain for the mid-Atlantic, at least the southern and central mid-Atlantic. And then that sort of moves out, but before it moves out, once you get that low offshore, you're going to switch the winds back around from the northwest out of an arctic high out of James Bay. So you're going to switch the precip from freezing rain and rain to snow by the, by the evening hours of uh, Wednesday. So you might see freezing rain at the beginning for some s for a spot like Worcester, Mass. Freezing rain, rain, you get significant accumulations, power outages. Wind switch out of the north, you switch back over to snow. That's just kind of hypothetical, but it may pan out something like that. Then the low pressure center looks to be gone by uh, Thursday, or at least by the uh, afternoon hours of Thursday. And by then, really bad Arctic high is going to be ta taking shape. But I want to really zoom in here on the freezing rain threat because I think that is what I've been watching since for the past couple of days now is this threat for substantial freezing rain. So th this is the probability um, that's getting printed out here on the um, Hydrometeorological Percent Prediction Center experimental product for freezing rain by uh, 12Z Wednesday. And you see that there's a 80% chance here. This is exceeding tenth of an inch of precip. So you want more than tenth of an inch of precip. There's an eight, there's a 60 to 80% chance across a large portion of the Ohio Valley, very large portion of Pennsylvania, a lot of southern New England, Connecticut, Rhode Island, Massachusetts, southern New Hampshire. And you say, Nick, what happened up there? Well, that's just snow. Okay, Chicago to Detroit to Albany to. Maine, that's primarily snow that's falling. So you say a tenth of an inch, big whoop, right? Well, no, yeah, that's going to cause some pro ac accidents, some major problems on roadways, but it won't cause any damage. A quarter inch is sort of your damage threshold. That's when you look for limbs down, etc. And then again, 60 to 80 percent chance of uh, over a quarter of an inch of ice for the Ohio Valley, for Pennsylvania, for southern New England. 
over a half inch of ice, that's when you're definitely looking at potentially crippling impacts. And I hate to say it, but there's uh, definitely a 50% chance in a lot of spots of seeing that. You say 50% chance. Well, these chances do get upgraded as you go through time, which is why you really get worried, okay? If there's a 50% chance about three, four days out, then what's it going to be like around that time? Are we going to see the crippling ice storm? Well, there's unfortunately some da data which uh, uh, does say that, yes, you will see your crippling ice storm. I just want to show you uh, some of the freezing rain um, output here. This is the GFS freezing rain forecast. And um, this is how much anywhere in the lighter blues is at least a quarter inch. Anywhere in the purples is where there's at least a half inch. So there's definitely potentially a crippling ice storm for some. Then you move into the northeast, and this is where it's more localized and probably not as bad. The Ohio Valley is known for its ice. The northeast, every once in a while. But we'll just have to see who gets the ice this time around. Well, another interesting thing I want to show you is the sleet potential, because the sleet is actually significant. If you're not getting freezing rain, and you're not getting snow, and you're not getting rain, and you're not getting hail, you have to get sleet. And there's actually over a half inch of sleet showing up in the same s in some of the spots here. So people say freezing rain and sleet, but sometimes they fall together. But sometimes, in this case, they're not falling together. You see the sleet is through central Indiana, through central Ohio, south central Illinois, southern um, Missouri. Then we go to the freezing rain output, and it's well south. This is sleet, freezing rain. Sleet, freezing rain. So that just gives you an idea of what we're dealing with. How it might be... Even if you don't get freezing rain, you could be getting sleep, which might be just as bad, to be honest. <laughs> now, we take a look at this point. Um, this is the NAM forecast for freezing rain. The NAM doesn't put out the widespread quarter to half inch of icing that the GFS does. Um, instead, it puts out a widespread half inch to an, well, a localized quarter to half inch, but a wa actually, within that localized area, is there are bursts of over half an inch of ice to as much as an inch or an inch and a quarter of ice and that would be certainly crippling for a lot of areas just crippling you say how does this happen well you got warm air overrunning cold air so i'll show you the skew t and this is for fort wayne indiana okay and you look at it this is just to get you familiarized with the scale here this is the um light this is the heights here thousand millibars 850 700 500 here are the temperatures in Celsius, 0, 10, 20, 30, 40. Now you look at 700 millibars, it's raining. You're well above um, five, you're 5 degrees, 10, 5, 10 degrees Celsius at 850 millibars, or 700 millibars. Then, 800 fi then once you hit the cooler, cooler temperatures, you just get that kind of nose, okay, where the warmer air really sticks out. And because of that, you're, you got the, you got those super cooled raindrops falling right around the zero mark, okay, right around the 32 degree mark down here, and that that would be very worrying, okay. This is a very worrying skew t graph from the NAM, okay, at 78 hours out. So we're getting closer to a potential snowstorm and icing event, either which of could be crippling. So stay tuned to stormtopia.com for the latest.